Hey guys, Chris here. Today I'm with the King Song KS14D. 420 watt hour battery capacity, about 18 and a half miles per hour top speed. It'll go for about 15 to 20 miles and has an 800 watt motor. 14D means 14 inch wheel. And uh, I kind of wanted to give you guys some first riding impressions on this wheel today. I haven't really put many miles on it, so this is literally just kind of my first thoughts. I used to Hello, ride a InMotion V8, and eWheel sent this out to me to test and review. And uh, I'll put a link to that in the description, but this is kind of the new uh, King Song that they're carrying. The V8, unfortunately, got kind of priced out of its market. So let's see how this King Song does. Uh, it's freezing outside, it's about 35 degrees Fahrenheit, but I figured let's just go for a ride and see how it feels. Right off the bat, it has decent power and pretty good brakes. It accelerates and slows down with relative ease. Brakes are a lot better than the V8, or it slows down a lot better than a V8. This feels like a very natural and fluid wheel to ride. It's very agile. I feel very stable on it. I do like the platform pedals. They're really, really solid. I don't know if you noticed when I first got on the wheel, but they have kind of a nice solid uh, layer of grip tape here. And there's kind of a nice little cushion here on your legs. If you press this down, you get a headlight, and that'll switch between the front and the back depending on which direction you're going. There's also a brake in the rear. Pretty easy to get going. I was a little bit concerned initially about the 14 inch wheel size, but I actually kind of like it. It's just a little bit more agile than the 16 inch wheels. It feels really good. Please decelerate. <laughs> so when you approach top speed, it's gonna yell at you. Kind of an interesting accent on that voice. This is a nice wheel. I like the way it handles and, and rides. It's very agile, I feel like it's very fluid. The pedals are nicely placed. I can very easily carve around. It's easy and stable to ride slowly. Yeah, I like this a lot. It looks good too. I like the size of it. You can kind of see in the uh, window reflection there that it's not a it's not a big wheel, it's tiny. Weighs about 27 and a half pounds. Brakes are really good. That's really nice. One problem I always had with the InMotion V8 was that you really couldn't stop that quickly. If you had to make an emergency stop in a city or Please some type of situation, it just wouldn't slow down quick, quick enough. This seems to solve that problem. I'll have to take it out at night to see how the headlight will, how well that works. Unless, you know, this is a really nice wheel. I love the handling. It's just, it's so easy to ride. I mean, I can really just, I feel like I can place it so accurately here. Let's take it off a curb here. I like the platforms. They're really solid. Is there anything I don't like? Well, I haven't really figured out the app situation yet. I'll do a follow-up review on that. Um, I don't like that it's freezing outside. 
The handle is nice, it seems high quality, it's well built. I wish it went up just a little bit higher, it'd be a little bit easier to wheel it around that way. Here, I'll show you guys an example here. But it just kind of falls to your waist. I could use it just a little bit higher up though. But overall, this is a nice wheel to carry. It's not that heavy. It doesn't have a, um, a disconnect, unfortunately. So when you lift it up, it's gonna spin. But that's just the way it is. Pretty easy to get on. It doesn't feel like it leans a lot back and forth when you're accelerating or decelerating. It's not quite like the Segways where um, you've got a lot of kind of softness in the fluidity of the wheel. The 14 inches isn't necessarily a problem over the rough stuff. It feels pretty comfortable. It's really, really stable at speed. Please decelerate. That's annoying. I'm sure you can turn that off in an app. Yeah, guys, this is great. You can really just kind of flow with this thing. I actually prefer the 14 inch wheel size to the 16 inch, just because it's just a little bit more maneuverable. Please decelerate. Let's do an acceleration test here. Pretty quick. It's not gonna knock your socks off, but it's also not gonna have any issues climbing hills or anything. Please decelerate. Please Let's find decelerate. a little bit of an incline here. This isn't a huge one, but it'll do. No problems. So far, so good. Yeah, this is just a, the, the big thing I can say is this is just an enjoyable wheel to ride. I like it, I don't really have any complaints except for the, uh, I'm not a big fan of that voice telling me to slow down. Brakes are great. I like that a lot, that's really, that's really useful. I think it looks good too. Um, of course, you also have adjustability with the lights and speaker volume and all that stuff, I'm sure, in an app. But for now, those are kind of my first thoughts on this. Let me know if you guys have any questions or if there's anything specifically you'd like to see. But um, for now, I'll just leave it at that. Talk to you guys later.